Okay, hello everybody. I just wanted to say hello and welcome to the last hour of the audio being super quiet and my voice being super loud. Um, this is also just a bunch, this is a big thing of like Josephine's mission and maybe one other, but I cut it from two and a half hours down to one hour, so that was pretty great. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you think again and I'll see you in a minute. I think what I kind of want to do is maybe do start Josephine's and then come finish black walls so I just saved just in case it doesn't work in case we lose black wall because I don't I don't I'm not gonna do that this time what a pretty painting I love it oh I like it Josephine do you know where this noble wanted to meet us I do the Comte Boisvert has invited us to his mansion not far from those, they, it's the, it looks like antlers. I think, I think, I think it, it might be freaking, it's like the branching bow or something. I can't remember. It's really cool. It's my favorite bow. The other ones that are really powerful are really boring looking. One of them looks like a giant toy and the other one just looks plain. This is the bow for Talon. Look at those clawed hands. Ha! Ha ha! I would romance Talon if I could. Ooh, a killer knot boat, vote. I love how this servant is backing up and looks afraid, and I'm pretty sure it's because he knows that this guy is the assassin, but is being forced is being forced to uh act. Is there another pull? I don't know on this one. I actually, I, 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 we'll see. We'll see. I want to see how Talon plays it out. I hope helping us doesn't endanger you. Hardly. Even a brush with someone as well known as yourself can become a great asset in Belwayo. Giving you the identity of those who murdered Lady Montilly's messenger seemed the least I could do. Have you heard of the House of Repose? The assassin. I actually really like this guy. My contacts obtain a copy of a I really like archive. this guy. Contract for a life. He is so cool. Yeah, go ahead and make a, a straw poll. I'm interested to see what you guys say. Who's sending these assassins? The contract was signed by a noble family. The Du Parquet. But the two parakets died out as a noble line over 60 years ago. Indeed. But the contract was signed 109 years ago. How can a family try to kill you after they died out? The two parakets were our rivals. They drove the Montilliers from Val Royale. This contract was drawn up over a hundred years ago, but it wasn't invoked until I tried to overturn my family's exile. Unpleasant though it may be, the House of Repose is merely fulfilling its contractual duty. Yeah, no, I love straw poles. They're cool. They're really, they're really funny. Uh, I mean, not funny, but they're like, they're really, it's really interesting to see what everybody says. If the people who want I'll get through this, and then I'll why, check it. Why are the assassins still after you? A contract is a contract, Inquisitor. Orlesian businesses live and die by their reputations. The entire guild's welfare would be endangered if an agreement was tossed aside on a whim of time or fate. She's quite right, you the House of Repose is doing what it feels necessary. Ah! By Suspicious! I assume you have a thought or two on this, Josephine. The two parakets still have descendants under the common branch. If we elevate them to nobility, a two parakets could annul the contract on my life. This guy! Uh, that will take time, Lady Montigny. Time during which the House of Repose will be obliged to hunt. Oh, look at this. She's picking it up now. You are exceedingly well informed. Or not to have said you'd heard rumors at best. A bit of subterfuge. This contract on your life is an ugly business. One the House of Repose deeply regrets. <laughs> Even an assassin's world is his bond. Ah, we figured it out. Does Comte Boisvert actually exist? Absolutely. Everybody vote. I want to see. I, I might. I, we'll see. I want to see what everybody so thinks. Information somehow. And then to be tied up later. 
Don't. Let's see this. I thought you were remarkably well informed about a secret assassin's guild. Uh, we are hardly secret, my dear Inquisitor. Just normally much more reclusive. <laughs> the contract on Lady Montilly's life is so unusual. We felt the courtesy of an explanation was in order. They are remarkably well mannered. Your idea to seek out the Duparaquette to revoke our orders is uh, an interesting one. I wish you luck. Oh! <laughs> I did not come to shed blood today, Inquisitor. Only to speak. My I pass. Ooh, I don't know. Eh, ooh, interesting. Why warn us about your contract and let us go? In our lay, it is only decent to inform those involved in a contract when extraordinary circumstances conspire. And the guild's reputation would suffer if you ignored the contract. I quite understand. Thank you. May we conclude with my departure? Wow, you guys are very murderous. <laughs> uh, only one person voted for Liv. <laughs> I could actually see Talon going either way. Trying, again, tying up a loose end or having a mutual respect for one another as like assassin types. Because Talon is actually an assassin specialization. I don't know, man. You know what? I, I At least I kind of want to check and see, I guess, what the year dead one is. Still, it seems rude to kill this guy. You know what I mean? Like, he did us the courtesy of letting us know what was going on. You know? So, I, it feels really... And killing him isn't going to stop the entire assassin's guild from from trying to kill her, you know? But, holy crap, you guys are murderers. <laughs> Alright! Maybe we'll try the murder route. Okay, see? Okay, Frog Raider, you said the guild respects you more. <laughs> Interesting! Okay! I actually am really curious to see how that turns out. Not on your life. As you wish. <laughs> Oh, okay. What? Did you just call friends in? Whoa! Did you just change your... You know what? I did not bring a party that was optimized for fighting. Oh, did they die already? Oh, no. You're dead. Okay, whoa. Hi. <laughs> we were just waiting for you to pop back out again. Okay, that was easy. Easily enough. Easy enough. Easy enough. Exactly, Cayuke, you're protecting your clan and sending a message? I can get- Ah, there you are! I knew there was another one. That's the last of them. Well, that's the last time I agree to wait on the other side of a door when you're- <gasps> Are you two all right? <gasps> yes, thank you, Lord Vavis. <gasps> I think it's time we return to Skyhold. <gasps> discuss with the Inquisitor. <laughs> that was the best option! That was the best what option, cause Dorian got to say something cute. Oh, the lock's been broken off. We'll find a saw. Hmm. I realize the cabinet is quite valuable, Comte, but surely. <laughs> hey. I love this. Smith, then. Uh, huh. Please muffled yelling. Ashley, go get some more pie. I want some more pie. That's all I'm gonna be having for dinner. Do you get any cool loot from this guy? Eh. All right, that was really that alone for the fact that Dorian got to say something really cute is worth that. Is worth that. See, trust us. He loves you. <laughs> trust the bloodlust. So this is a new computer. Yeah, Larry. Sorry. Um. Yes. Yes. I got a new laptop. Um, thanks to your guys' donations, uh, I was able to afford a laptop on Black Friday. Um, it was a $900 laptop that was half off. So uh, thanks to you guys and Black Friday, I was able to get a new nice laptop for streaming. So like, I have my Alienware that I play the games on, but the laptop that I was streaming through and recording on was really old and having a very difficult time. Um, so, so this new one is hopefully gonna be freaking fantastic. 
What did Dorian say? He didn't catch it. He said, well, that's Dorian said, well, that's the last time I wait on the other side of a door for you or something. He's like, are you both all right? You know, type thing. So basically he's like, you know, freaking, I'm not doing that again. We're going to follow you wherever you go, which is so cute. I, I'm, I'm overly simplifying it, but Skyhold. All right. But basically, he's like, well, that's the last time I'm letting you go to the other side without me to keep an eye on you because we had to fight those guys. Great news. Thank you. Yeah, when you're involved, that's that's what it is. Yep, yep. Or is this a cutscene or? So with Blackwall's thing, I can just go right into it, right? I can just go straight to the war table. Okay. All right, hold up. Hold up, Red V. Let me get this Blackwall thing taken care of. Well, now nah, we'll, we'll get yours done really quick. Or at least started, and then I can get it started at the war table. I'm so sorry, Inquisitor. I never thought my family's trading status would trap us in an assassin's plot. Uh... Between our soldiers and spies, Skyhold's safer than anywhere else in Thedas. Yet the problem persists. I've tracked down the last two paraquets. If they become gentry, they can annul the contract on my life. We'll require a noble from Val Royale to sponsor them, a judge to provide documents, a minister to ratify them. It's too likely to take the longest course of action, even when your life is at stake. I might do Liliana's route, too. I assume you already know everything about this man. He says that even if you're not romancing him, Kayu, he just like popped my joy bubble. If my agents infiltrated and destroy the original, the assassin will have no obligation to chase you. Liliana, please, I want no more bloodshed over a personal affair. Don't be too stubborn, Josie. How long will it take you to gather these favors in Val Royale? Hmm. Give me some time to think this over. I'll post a watch on our ambassador in case the House of Repose visits. I appreciate it, but I still believe elevating the two paraquets will solve this. Uh -huh. First, we need to perform some favors in Val Royale. I'd be happy I think to I might so could be I might take Liliana's rat on this just because it would be simpler, you know? But it's also really fun to do the other way. Like it could you go to different places and stuff? I can't believe he says that even if you're not romancing. That's funny though that there are in the, in a lot of the Bioware games there are lines that are said that um that you could take either way, either in a non-romance or in a romance way. Destroying the House of Repose contract, and then we have Rainier's release. Wait, so what are they, your contacts in the underworld? Oh, well, the honor point that your contacts in the underworld could aid in having Rainier released from prison. This route would conveniently mask the Inquisition's involvement. An offer whispered in the right circles, a dozen factions vying for our favor. We'll see who desires it most. Okay, I've never done it this way before. Hmm. What's the other you know no, you know what? Let's let's do this. Let's just do it. And we'll get we'll get Blackwall back. Oh, there was that other one, right? Or yeah, I think there was one right here. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Where's the destroying the house? Oh, only shoot, only Liliana can do that one. Okay, well we'll get Blackwall back in a minute, and then and then we'll do it Liliana's way. Man, I'm running low on things to do. How nice. Rainier was brought to the Skyhold gates under cover of darkness. Best not to ask how. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's destroy the House of Repose's contract. The risk is high? It will take time and possibly several lives. Oh, then I don't want to do that. Any news on the House of Repose? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, all right. First, we're gonna go 
we're gonna go do Black Wall's thing. Okay, let's do this. Please don't break. Sometimes we crash on judgments. On judgment this day, Inquisitor. I must present Captain Tom Rainier, formerly known to us as Warden Black. Kills me to see him so broken. His crimes. Well, you are aware of his crimes. The decision of what to do with him is yours. I love my throne. I didn't think this would be easy, but it's harder than I thought. Another thing to regret. Using your ties to the underworld to free me. You're a criminal, same as me. The world will learn how you've used your influence. They'll know the Inquisition is corrupt. I wish there'd been another way, but my options were limited. You could have left me there. I accepted my punishment. I was ready for all this to end. Why would you stop it? What becomes of me now? Blackwall, I could never kill you, Blackwall. We were good friends. And now, in my other life, you're my lover. I can't kill you. Did Josie and Black... I have no idea to s initiate that. I mean, I know how to do the Ar Iron Bull and Dorian's, right? Just gotta bring them out. When you're not romancing either one of them. But I have no idea how to get the Josie and Blackwall thing to start. Oh, in case it's still relevant, you think your last post of this was eaten by the stream glitches. It's the cold conversation about Blackwall. Ooh, I do think... I do think I missed it. Mockingbird, Mockingbird. Too many voices in the carriage make her their young. Cole, if I tell my men to stop, they'll know it was all a lie. Ah, oh, okay. He was, he must have been there. You're right, Stone Smith. Blackwall must have been there. And his men got into the carriage before, before he could stop them. Free him to make amends. Hmm. See, I, a part of me thinks it might be kind of cool to free him to make amends for his crime, but I think Blackwall is unable to decide what to do on his own. To make a, his idea for amending his crime is to die, and that's not what I want. You know, I feel like it's actually a more poetic justice to give him to the warden since he's been impersonating him for a very long time. But he also embodies a lot of what makes the wardens great. And a lot of what the, I mean, the wardens overlook crimes like his all the time for, for, um, for their, for their recruits, you know? The wardens, I feel, are a lot about, in their own way, they're about redemption. And I just have nothing but respect for the wardens. Blackwall intended you join the wardens. I will let them decide your fate. But only when Corypheus is dead. For now, Tom Rainier, the Inquisition needs you. As you command. Hmm. I'm told not all survive the joining, and the life of a true warden is difficult. If I die, it will be no less than I deserve. And if I live, I'll make it count. I think I'm grateful for this, Inquisitor. And I will serve for as long as I can. I think I prefer the up option where he says uh, something about like making this using this chance to atone, but I wasn't sure what the middle option said, so I wanted to ch test that out. Yeah, I don't think the wardens will care about the impersonation. They are very practical. Yeah, I mean exactly. The, the wardens are basically full of murderers and thieves anyway. They're full of traitors, murderers, you know. They all didn't have much to lose when they joined the wardens. A lot of times. Um, I can't decide if we should... Should we dispatch the assassins, or should we speak with Josephine? What do you guys think? You could just throw it down. We could, we could do it. We could do a straw poll for it, or we could just...
throw it down in the comments what you guys think. I've never just dispatched Leliana's assassins. Part of me thinks, because when you have to do the other way about doing things, you get to go, like, talk and interact with these other people, and, like, I, I might actually do that. I might actually do Josephine's way, just because I'd like to see a little bit more interactions with other NPCs. But we'll, we'll do, let's see, Kayuki is going to do it. Okay. Stonesmith, exactly. They take low gain depending on choices in the weighted. The wardens very rarely, I think, ever have enough recruits that they can turn their backs on another body. You know what I mean? I might, I might go that way, just because if you do it Leliana's way, it's straightforward. And I guess Talon to me isn't so much straightforward or blunt. Like my human noble is pretty straightforward and blunt. Talon is calculating. And I feel like he could maybe get more influence by doing it Josephine's way. Or he could, you know, it, it's, a, it's a different sort of influence to just strike at the heart of the matter, you know? Alright, it looks like I have the deciding vote. It's true. Let's do it. Let's do it Josie's way. Just because I want to see how, how many, like, I want to have more interactions. So, we'll do it Josie's way. Aya. Aya. Uh, let's, okay. How exactly does one turn farmers into members? Yep. There are procedures. procedures. Very long procedures. So much paperwork. Very, so much paperwork. I've called in a substantial number of favors just to cut through half. Uh. I'm sure the House of Repose will forget this assassin contract on a farmer's signature. Huh. <laughs> Don't give him ideas. <laughs> Unspeakably crass. These assassins are afraid of being seen as impolite. Breaking one's public oath or bond implies a certain power. A common merchant may lack the resources or manners to fulfill a debt, but among the guild, it would be shameful. Shameful. Okay. Sounds good, Kayuk. Uh, okay, let's just, let's do it. You said I'd have to do some favors in Val Royo if we want to make the Duparakets lords. The Countess Dion is our first step. Her lover, a mage from bring her news of him and she'll be very amenable. Okay! <laughs> so we're just gonna, we'll just do Josephine's way. Because I think with Josephine's way, at one point you get to go to like some sort of party with like a noblewoman. And like chat with her. And that would be interesting. A flying victor victory, may our enemies feel its sting. Yeah, let's just do a general broad search. I actually just realized, um... Now, your thought on why the Wardens have mostly bad characters, you have to be corrupt in some way for the corruption to not kill you. Yes, I've actually been talking with people about that. I'm not sure if you were one of them, but yes, um... There are, there. I, I like that idea that there has to be some sort of corruption for the blight to latch onto to make it easier for you to live. Exactly, and those that are, cause I, and I think it's been kind of a, there's like a like a something I don't know if it's like a widespread theory or what, but like that people who are too hopeful or too not dismayed by life or whatever or by circumstance they won't survive. If there's too much hope, they won't survive or something. There needs to be some sort of despair or corruption or taint already inside you for you to actually survive the joining. And I like that. I like that idea because it makes sense because the girl in Awakening, at the beginning of Awakening, she dies during the joining and she was this, like, noble knight who, like, wanted to, like, help the wardens or whatever, you know, and, and it didn't happen. I actually, I want to go check, where is it, where's that mage camp at, or the, not the mage camp, the, uh, let's see, that's the outskirts, that's the upper lake camp, crossroads, I think it's over here. Um... 
where the like tower of people are at. Did I already do that? Let me check actually. I might not even have it. I kind of want to get all the agents I can. Like I, I for 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 talent specifically, I want to make sure to get all the agents that I can get, which means I will have to eventually do the Emerald Graves main quest. Uh, rift in the woods, rift on the farm, love waits. Ah, oh, I haven't been there. I haven't been there then. Okay, let's do that. So we can get that. He's an agent, and then, uh, and then the, the woman becomes an agent as well. Okay, so they're way down here. All right, then. Uh, now the, oh, the dwarf sons passed. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, let's bring... Dorian. Look, Blackwell! He's a warden! Woo! Dorian. Cassandra. Uh. Kind of want to bring Varric, to be honest. No, okay, Ashley, it's not just like tainted, like you are corrupted. It's somebody who has experienced great despair. Somebody who, um, because the Kusland, the human noble, I, I believe their entire family is massacred, right? And they're the only survivor. So, haha, <laughs> our human nobles grabbed by default. There's that too. But no, I don't think it's just, it's not just corruption. You have, there has to have been some sort of intense despair that, like, corrupted you in its own way. You know what I mean? Because despair, desperation, um, it can, it can all sort of combine to corrupt you in its own way. You know what I mean? Man, I cannot see for the fireworks that just fly around. Yeah, yeah, you get, okay, okay, okay. Sweet. Yeah, because there, cause that, that is definitely one, because it, it, that was one that I thought of before. Because the, the mage, when you start out with as a mage, like, I think that one is the least bad out of all the beginnings. Like, you tried to help your friend out, and you got in trouble for it. They, I don't know what they were going to do. I don't know if they were going to arrest you or what. But it didn't seem like my life was in any immediate danger, whereas when I played the Dalish Elf beginning, um, you definitely feel like your life is threatened, you know? Because you're dying, essentially. The faithful move to follow your divine will. Oh, do they? So are you my... Are you my pal? Okay. Yeah, it's okay to question it. You just get more answers that way. Interesting. These really are just a bunch of nobles hanging out up here. Strange. Sorry, dude. I found a woman's body down the hill with a letter on it. This letter. Venom is dead. But but we were meant to be together. The maker would not keep us apart. What I don't know why people think that the maker is gonna get involved in anything. Because it's it's explicitly written in their scripture that the maker has turned his face from the world so why in the world do they think that the maker cares at all about what they're doing <laughs> what you failed her go home jeez the inquisition needs men who believe as strongly as you do come and help us restore order yes if waiting here in the hills leaves innocent to die then i will bring the maker's word by the sword my men and i will lend our strength yeah, what a manly man you are, leaving your girlfriend to walk in bandit-encrusted wastelands. I can't believe he did that. Inquisitor. He, I guess he did think the Maker would protect her, but still. 
God looks out for those who look out for themselves. <laughs> you know? I do still need to do I wanna do that really quick. I'm gonna go take I'm gonna take flowers to Senna's shrine. I have been remiss in that one. And especially as a Danish elf, I feel it is my sworn duty to go and do that. See, you say that. She was a strong, independent woman who needs no man. And then she died. So, I don't know. If Aveline had come riding along, Aveline could have saved her, but... <laughs> but... This woman obviously did not have any martial training. <laughs> or maybe she did. Maybe she had, like, dagger training or something. Like, sometimes, like, I don't know, in stories and even in real life, noble women sometimes got dagger training because it was easier to, like, slip into bodices and stuff, you know? Keep it hidden in your sleeves. But, um, that's probably not enough against a concentrated bandit attack, you know? Oh, is Sin a shrine up there? Holy crap, what the heck, bear? Go away. Okay, this is one thing I really like about this. So it's kind of... Well... Senna, beloved, may your ashes be gathered by Fallon in and carried safely after all the long years you carried me. So this is interesting. This is a broken... I believe this is a broken Mythal statue, or a bro it's a broken dragon. And there's three of them here, so I wonder if it's like a family shrine. Interesting. Alright, let's go back and talk to him really quick. And then we'll go see how Josephine's thing fared. No. Oh, that's right. I do have the unlocky thing. Huh? Hello, hot end. I do not suppose you found my Senna's shrine. I know it is a long way to go. I cleaned Senna's shrine and placed the flowers. I like that touch. I cleaned her shrine. Saranus, Dalen, take this with my gratitude. Senna would have wanted you to have it. I love it. <laughs> and Cole slightly approved even though he wasn't here. All right, let's go back to Skyhold. I like that one that, that we specifically tell him what was on the on the shrine, so he knows that we were there and didn't just drop flowers off somewhere, you know, and say, "Yeah, I did it." Unlucky thing? Yeah, that's my technical term, because I am a technical person. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I was injured. Oh, yeah, this is his late. This is his uh, letter. That's right. Okay. Let's go tell Josephine, even though she's right in the room. We just can't let Cullen know what we're doing, I guess. What now? Any news on the house of repose, Inquisitor? What's the next favor we need to get these duparakets on... Okay. Or is it not in here? Do I have to go? Can't remember. But I gotta go. I do gotta go to Val Royale anyway. To talk to that lady. Whoa. Okay. Vivian needs to be. Holy crap. Sorry, Vivian. I have not taken you out at all whatsoever. Um, oh, dang, which one do I want to get rid of? What does this do? Right, wow, holy crap. <laughs> uh, maybe the lightning bolt one? I don't know. Okay, let's get that. And... Ooh. Ooh, let's do that one. And... Ooh, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Okay. 
Chain lightning never strikes the same target. Hmm. Well, I'll do that one. Oh man, I don't even know. Fade step. Okay, let's do that one. And sure. What? Oh. Let's do that one. Well, events have certainly happened. That's so vague as to be meaningless. Yes, they have. Your connections are as worthless as mine? More so, I should think. I have only now stopped shaking. An elf? Well, if you don't mind, I've a pair to put in order. Whoa. Will it matter? Not a week. Haha, -ha, we're throwing. I did not realize that it was going to be so obvious that Briala was in charge. Those who oppose thee shall know the wrath of heaven. Field and forest shall burn. The sea shall rise and devour them. Oh, hello. Didn't I see you with her once? I've passed her and her friends' information from time to time. You admit it? Just like that? Uh, they're a fun lot. Yes. <laughs> well, sometimes. It's hard to explain. Oh, interesting. Inquisitor. I'm eating Thanksgiving leftover rolls. Ooh, Vivian. Holy crap, you look gorgeous. Might there be any news from this house? Didn't you already get your letter? Here's a letter from Eleni. He's safe with his family in the Dales. Oh, my Eleni. Oh, bless you. The Dions will sponsor the Duparaket as a family deserving of a noble title, Inquisitor. You have my word. Now please forgive my hastiness, but I must read Eloli's words. Make her keep you. Aw, lovers. Cute. Okay, now I can do the judge thing. Oh, right now the judge is in Ferelden, which is really weird. Man, I have missed this game. I love streaming and doing YouTube, you guys, because doing this lets me play these games that I might just like kind of like let fall to the side, you know? So it's fun. I'm glad. I'm glad I get to get to play with you guys. Whoa! What happened here? decided to pay a visit. The guards arrived in time, but I should have guessed the assassins would infiltrate the service. Oh, holy crap! I want a tighter watch. The House of Repose isn't our only enemy. It won't happen again, Your Worship. Leliana assigned people to shadow me. They appear to have saved my life. I owe you everything, Sergeant. Only my duty, Ambassador. I'll talk with the spy master about these murderous louts. She'll find how they got in. I forgot. Any news on the House of Repose, Inquisitor? What's the next favor we need to get these Duparakets a lordship? We need a judge of the royal court. Right. Okay, we'll do that. This is why you do things Leliana's way. Yeah! It would get it done faster, but people would still die her way. She'd basically have to send her assassins to assault an assassin's guild, you know? People would die either way. It's actually much harder for them to get up here, I would think. Oh, yeah. For real, then. Right? Oh, there we went. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yikes. Uh, okay. That's a bit weird. A bit weird. Alright, let's go find something else to do for 15 minutes. I'm gonna go make out with Dorian. Close your eyes, children. Oh, are you gonna say anything? Hold up. 
I just did your other mission. My friend. All right, bye. We'll talk later. Goodbye. I'm pretty sure I have maxed out Solus's approval because he didn't change his approval when I went when I opened up the uh, the thing for him. You know, like uh, when I opened up the report saying that he'd done the thing with the uh, with the god dang with the orbs. He didn't. I don't think his approval changed, so I think I've got him maxed out. I need to talk to you. I also think I got Varric's approval maxed out. Oh, they kill a servant to take their place? Oh. Amethyst! He just said Amethyst! Oh my gosh, I love it when he says that. Dorian's so freaking cute. Dorian! Why are you so gorgeous? Oh yeah, I forgot. When we make out, the world bends around us. Shoot, I haven't talked to Vivian in ages. I always forget about Vivian and Cassandra. They're off in these corners. My oh, dear, I know you must have a great deal on your mind right now. I just sat. Did I just sit down? You know as well as I how far the Inquisition's influence has spread, and how desperate the Grand Clerics have become. This is new. I've never done this. Our opinion will be instrumental in their election of the new divine. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Wow, this is new. Okay. I suspected as much. Any advice on the subject? One of our own may be divine. It will. That's I'm like, okay, I want to do. Any advice on the subject or one of our own may be divine. She does want to be divine and I'm not sure. I am not sure who I actually. I think on this, I'm just leaving it up to chance again as to who I get. Um, I really don't want Cassandra to be divine. Because I think she would be slowly suffocated there. Like, she, she's obviously not. She obviously is fine. Vivian, I'm all for, except for the fact that she wants to put the circles back the way they were. And I don't like that. So, I don't know. Um, and I'm not sure if Talon, like, I don't know. I don't know if he would be, like, interested in her opinion, or if he'd be like, hey, you know this, right? One of our own may be divine. She's being really subtle. Oh, yeah, she's definitely being, she is a master of the game. You think she makes the best divine? When I first heard that a mage could be divine, I heard a rumor of that, and I thought it was, I, I, oh, I immediately thought it was the best decision for a mage to be divine. But with Vivian, it's a little bit different. She sets it up so that you have to suggest it, and then she acts all surprised. Uh, nice. Let's say one of our own may be divine. They want Liliana and Cassandra as candidates. The Inquisition may not be invited to their vote, but our actions will certainly influence the Grand Clerics. To sit on the Sunburst throne, a candidate should have grace, charm, and a will of solid steel. Cassandra may lack the first two, but unless you can think of someone better, she is the strongest choice. Oh, interesting. You'd make a good divine. Oh. What platform do you support? What would your ideal divine do with her power? The most important thing, of course, is the restoration of the circles and the Templar order. The institutions that have protected Thedas for ages must be rebuilt and the malcontents utterly crushed. We cannot allow anarchists to threaten the lives of the innocent. After we have restored sanity to the world, there will be time to address voices of dissent. Interesting. Okay. Where can we find candidates outside of the Chantry? There must be someone other than the There must be. Cassandra. The Chantry is already desperate. They would not look to unordained women if they had any choice. You may have better luck searching the halls of the Imperial Court. There are many women serving the Empire who have the necessary presence and acumen. Of course, of course. <laughs> Liliana might be a better choice than Cassandra. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Liliana is a well-meaning fool. 
She will do irreparable harm to countless people in the name of freedom. She proposes to abolish the circles with nothing but a solemn promise from mages not to murder children. When an angry mage lashes out inside a tower, villages aren't destroyed. The circle protects us all. Mages will die and take ordinary men with them in a war that cannot be won. Consider carefully, Inquisitor. Everything we do is a sign from the Maker to those who seek one. No! No, wait, 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 no! I didn't want to, I, I thought, I wanted to see what her opinion was on Leliana, not that I thought Leliana was a better choice. She doesn't want the circles to be the way they were, but similar, so may just have some form of protection and a form of order. I think it, did it auto-save after I made out with Dorian? This is a new conversation for me. I want to see. I want to see how this goes. The most important thing, of course, is the restoration of the circle and the Templar order, which I don't agree with. For ages must be rebuilt, and she seems, for a progressive woman, she seems kind of stuck in the past. To threaten the lives of the innocent. After we have restored sanity to the world, there will be time to address voices of dissent. Hmm. She seems content to put the previous powers back into place simply because she benefited from them. It was hard work. I'm not saying it wasn't. She had to work extremely hard to get to where she's at. But she is one of the few who benefited from that system. Whereas most people didn't. So this is where I, I asked about Leliana because I was just curious what she thought about Leliana. But I'm well. Okay, I I, I don't want to say you'd make a good divine, cause she would. But at the same time, I don't know if I agree with that. Uh, I agree. I don't know. Uh, this needs some thought. This does need some thought. But I think. Hmm. Thought. I'll have to think carefully about this. Don't worry, my dear. I have complete confidence that you will guide the clerics in the right direction. Oh, thank you! We will have to be very mindful of everything we do and say, for the Conclave certainly is doing the same. If they look to the Inquisition to provide a sign of the Maker's will, we will have to give them the right one. Even though we're not actually near the... Blah! Support Vivian operation? I didn't have that one before. I was recently appointed oh, I haven't talked to you yet. <laughs> Helping out in my small way. Oh, this well, is the. Get back to work. Is this the book quest? I usually, if you talk to him. I set aside an entire shelf for Grey Warden lore, and so far it's not even half full. Those wardens and their secrets. Mm, those wardens. If you talk to this guy enough, he, you get a quest to find books around Skyhold. The Empress has gifted us with a selection of rare books. I can't wait till they arrive. See, he sounded all freaked out that Leliana assigned him to this. Like, oh yes, I'm just doing what I can to help. Because she probably kind of spooked him. But he seems to really enjoy his job. One day I'm going to read all these books. One day. When I have time. One day. Dude, amen. Story of my life. We're supposed to have 52 copies. Of Here it is! Town, and we're missing all but four. Yay! <laughs> I have the quest now! My castle will be full of books that don't disappear. It's so untidy. It's true. I, I do wish the books disappeared after a while, but they don't. And you can even keep clicking on them. It's kind of annoying. Yay. He signed the papers. A royal minister. Please continue the chance. Apparently had the most marvelous bit of sport. And our soldiers acquitted themselves bravely against something called a screaming man-eater. The infirmary reassures me the injury will make a full recovery. Thanks, guy. I'm glad our soldiers could make a great time of it. What's the next favor we need to get these Duparakets a lordship? We must persuade Minister Belis to ratify the... Case. She's in charge. She's in charge of these matters of rank. The minister will be at a small fete thrown by the Marquis with... So this is the fun part. You get to do stuff like this. I do, I do enjoy this. It's a bit of a pain to be running around in circles when you just want to get it done and you're like, holy crap, this mission actually takes a long time. It doesn't take too long, though, to be honest. I mean, really, you know? Support Vivian. I don't really want to support Vivian. 
She didn't even give me that option. The English not to provide any support for Vivian as Chantry's choice for the next divine quietly. Traditionally, the Chantry looks to an open declarations with derision so they can be counterproductive. But a few words in the right ears can be very effective. Note, once the English are getting support, it cannot also give support to anyone else. Uh. No. Er. Should I? Th well, no, because if I throw my support behind Vivian, then that does that means that I can't really support any of the others. But I'd still like her to be in the running, because I'd like I'd be interested to see out of which three Talon ends up with as divine. You know what I mean? I've just ridden in from trouble from the Dales. Uh. The Marquis is clearly fishing for an introduction to the council before you attend his party. Okay. I was like, what exactly is he doing? Johnson, who are you? Ah, your worship. Just watching out for local wildlife. Little glory, but it has to be done. What? It's just one bear that's become a problem. A huge one. Bigger than I've ever seen. It's rampaged through camp a few times, ripping apart our supplies. One of our workers broke his leg trying to get away. Next time, we might not be so lucky. It must be upset that we're in its territory. Is it or us, so far as it's concerned? I'll wait here. If the bear comes, I'll try to run it off before it reaches camp. Okay. I've never... I just noticed an extra exclamation point over here, and I was curious. I've never had that before. Oh, whoa, I went the wrong way. I do that sometimes. It is an honor to meet the Herald of This takes forever. I have the time and the place of the Marquis party. Okay. Do I have to go to a place? Right there? Okay. We'll bring Dorian, Cassandra, I don't think I don't think anybody comes with you, but I'll bring Vivian. Like I don't know, I don't think bringing them would like alter the dialogue at all, but it would be interesting to see Vivian's take on this sort of a thing. And I bring Cassandra just in case I have to fight something. <laughs> Which I don't think you do, but Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> it's Vivian who like walks off doing that. That's usually solace for me. Thank you for seeing me in private, Minister Belize. I chastise you for taking me from the party, Inquisitor, but the Marquis throws such dull affairs. It's hardly worth it. <laughs> I assume you wish to discuss your petition to elevate these du paraquettes to a minor lordship. Tell me. Why should I allow you to pollute the Olysian nobility any further than it's already been muddied? Hmm. What? What? Are you prepared to make the ultimate of sacrifice and sleep with the Minister of Josie? What? Is that an option? I don't have to do that, do I? No way! No way! <laughs> no, no, no! No! Okay, let's be clever, I guess. Surely even a minister could do worse than have the Inquisition in her debt. I am a well-positioned woman. I require something more concrete than vague promises of future gifts. And do not attempt to charm me. I am far too old to tolerate it. <laughs> what can you possibly provide that will make your petition worth my effort? <laughs> Dory and Mike. Oh my gosh. This isn't a I don't I don't see that as an option here. <laughs> Dorian would kill me. Oh, let's see. Valuable info, connections beyond or lay. See, they're valuable info or connections beyond or lay. Uh, 
feel like information's like basically covers all of that, you know? You would do it with Sarah as your romance. I do not think Sarah would be cool with a noble as third party. Um, let's try. Oh, I'm, I want to try connections beyond Orlais. Diplomatic connections that reach far beyond the boundaries of Val Royale, perhaps? Hmm. I might make use of your ambassador. The Montilliers aren't what they were, but. At least they're from proper stock. Yeah. Arrange for me to be introduced to the court of Antiva. I hear winter is most pleasant by their sea. That's really Very disturbing. Inquisitor. Should you fulfill this bargain, I shall raise the Duparaquettes into lordship. I appreciate it, lady. I wonder why I sent my crew away. Like, I'm like, shoo shoo. All right, Josephine, I've done all this. I almost had to risk my relationship with Dorian for you. I wouldn't have done it. I would have sent the assassins into the Assassin's Guild. I must return to Val Royale to see that everything is in order. Please join me when you can. Okay, let's go right now. What's this one? Oh, what's this? <gasps> Meriden, why can't I? Meriden, I would talk to you. I have been trying to talk to you, Meriden. Sure. For some reason, I feel like this would be a fun squad. What a lovely... This would be so nice if I was romancing her. I received a letter from the house for Oh, they're a cute couple. They acknowledge their contract is null and void. There's no longer a price on my life. They also send their compliments on how handily you dispatched their agent <laughs> pretending to be the comp. Oh, <laughs> They're a polite bunch of ruthless murderers, I'll give them that. <laughs> I regret we were forced to deal with them. That you are endangered by my part in the game. Holy crap, that guy just... Wow, he came from the sky. It's the Maker! The Maker's here! Bards entertain the Orlesian court. They sing, play music... Make charming conversation and spy. Many this surprised me when I first learned this. Practice playing the game in such a fashion. What made you interested in becoming a bard? I was attending a university in Val Royale when I learned about bards. There was such an air of romance about them. Stories of secrets, twists, and fascinating people. A group of us, young gentry from Antiva, decided this exciting life was for us. Hmm. I don't imagine many firstborn heirs join those ranks. No. I was a rather foolish exception. Ah, good During point. During one particular intrigue, I encountered the bard sent to kill my patron. We fought. Or perhaps scrapped is the better word. Both of us terrified. We were at the top of a steep flight of stairs. The other bard threw a knife and I pushed him away from me. You can imagine the result. Ah. You were only defending yourself. But it was such a waste, Inquisitor. When I took off his mask, I knew him. We'd attended parties together. If I'd stopped to reason, if I'd used my voice instead of scuffling like a common thug, I'll always wonder who that young man would have grown into. Now this story, it actually quite surprises me. I, I would think that someone with Josephine's temperament would like, this would affect her daily life. Like it would, it would consume her, you know? But she doesn't let it. She's also much tougher. She's made of much tougher things than people, I think, give her credit for, you know? And she, she's tough in that she's, unlike Liliana, who almost, who basically lost her way for a bit, and forgot about compassion and mercy. That is exactly what Josephine embraced. Instead of embracing the subterfuge and the and the lies, she turned around away from that life completely and embraced compassion and words and diplomacy instead of a knife in the back. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's aggressive or not, but I don't think no. Nah. Nah. From. Bard to diplomat is 
Quite a change in direction. I was headed down that path for some time already. That night merely crystallized. In all the commotion... Uh, forgive me, I don't believe I ever thanked you for helping me with this. This is such a nice scene if you ignore the whole killing a friend, but I know, it's just completely surprises, surprised me at the time when I first heard it, and it still kind of does. I'm like, I'm like, holy crap, like, Josephine seems like this sweet, innocent woman, and she is. And she, and she seems like a capable diplomat, but she's also got blood on her hands in a way, you know? And it wasn't, they were both terrified. Really, I don't think she knew what she was doing. She was simply probably frightened when the knife came out and she shoved him and he fell down the stairs, you know? So... Uh... Hold on to it. Don't lose sight of why you came here. I will never forget you helped save the house of Montillet, Inquisitor. And should Interesting. you ever visit Antiva, the stories of the welcome we'll give you will be told for years. Oh, that was nice. That was a different hand gesture, too, than normal. I like that. Well, that takes away all the uh, friend thingies that we had to do. Um, but yeah, thanks, you guys. I will see you next time.